Hi everyone, Gill at CloseCallSports.com. We have a great play for you. It's a spring training game between the Pirates and the Phillies. It's the bottom of the ninth inning. Two are out, and this is going to be the final play of the game. So sit back, relax, and tell me what you think just happened. Ooh. Look at that little squibber. That was weird. a lot of English. Yeah. And a high throw. Yeah. Craig tumbles. He's okay, so we have a massive semi-collision at first base. The umpire seems to say safe. That's Roberto Ortiz, Incredible. the first base umpire. But that's not the end of the play. Yeah, he didn't even go into fair territory. No, I mean, there was no not attempt. Not, not close. Somehow a safe call turned into an out call. What happened? Well, here's the clue. I'm not going to second-guess the umpire's judgment from a press box camera 200 feet away and significantly elevated in the air. But the crux of it is the umpire rules that the runner missed touching first base. What do you do? This is an appeal play, 509C2. With the ball in play while advancing or returning to the base, he fails to touch each base in order before he or a missed base is tagged. That's not important as much as the interpretation for that rule, which in the P-Buck manual, again, we have a PDF of that, but on the MLB umpire manual, we don't, and P-Buck has a little bit more uh, case plays in it anyway. Batter runner hits a ground ball and beats the play at first base, but misses the bag. What does that actually mean? It means batter runner hits a ground ball and beats the play at first base, timing-wise, beats the fielder to the base, but misses physically touching the bag. That's pretty much exactly what Ortiz has ruled has occurred here. So what is the ruling for this play? The proper mechanic is to call the batter runner safe, indicating he beat the play, again, timing-wise. If the defense appeals by tagging the runner or base and appealing that the runner missed first base before the runner returns to first base, the batter runner would be declared out, which is also what happened. We talk a lot about holding umpires accountable. Again, judgment call, really tough because of the press box camera angle 200 feet away significantly in the air parallax, but he got the mechanics exactly 100% right. So we're going to hold him to account and say he got this ruling correct based on the appeal clause that's exactly what you tell the manager but unfortunately you're going to hear things like yep and the ump said uh had enough baseball for that's the day. right basically reservations yep time to get out of here and those things tend to be perpetuated by people who don't necessarily understand the rules of baseball don't know things or have a vested interest in a team and don't really care or not just a team but in getting controversy page views clicks etc james vincent michael o'brien did really did a breakdown of this play in which he didn't cite a single rule instead he took the entire video to blast the umpire crew because he doesn't seem to understand the rules of baseball but if he had visited closecallsports.com he would have understood that this was an appeal play the first base umpire properly signaled the runner safe because that's exactly what the interpretation of the rule mechanics wise tells you to do and then when the defense appealed he properly signaled the runner out again 100 percent textbook by rule that's holding umpires accountable visit us online at closecallsports.com for more analysis of rules visit outwestofficials.com to dress the part and we will see you on the site